Alright, so is being punished a bad thing? Does that have negative effects affect you onwards in life? Well, I'm sure we've all been punished before. For example, getting a bad grade on a test or forgetting to take the chicken out of the freezer. We've all been through it at least once, and I know I have. Nowadays, I don't get punished too often, but one clear memory I have of getting really scolded was way back in elementary. I forgot which grade, but I remember it was on an essay. At that time, school was pretty easy for me. I was kind of nerdy, but I got mostly A's and B's. But on one essay, for some reason, I got a really bad grade. I think it was like a D or a C, maybe. And I just remember my parents went off on me. Like, it was really brutal. They yelled at me, scolded me, and then grounded me after that. So that was kind of getting a, a chain of what would go on to happen to me. So what did science say about punishing your kids? Well, one of the first things they want you to do is basically reason with your kids. But of course, if you're a kid, that's kind of hard to do. So what they recommend is time out. Putting your kid in time out right away is what they don't really want to recommend, but they know it's probably the best thing to solve the behavior immediately. As for me, I just kind of got yelled at, not really time out, I got grounded a few times, but that wasn't too bad. So after my initial punishment of the bad essay grade, I still got punished by my parents, but it started going less and less. I started to become a kind of an individual worker, like my parents didn't really scold me anymore and I kind of punished myself. For getting a bad grade, I would get really stressed out about it, I'd get anxiety, and my parents would only be like, will you try hard next time? I'd be like, yeah, sure, but it was more than just a yeah, sure, you know. Lots of emotions under there. So what if they left me alone? I guess, like, spoiled me. So research has also been done on this by the American Psychological Association. What they said was parents who spoil their kids more often offered more compromises, at least with little kids. It would happen to negatively affect them. In two weeks, the kids would be more worse, they would be more violent, act worse, but that's kind of a no-brainer now to think about it. Punishing your kids seems to have positive effects and spoiling them seems to have negative effects. But where the controversy really happens is with physical punishment. Now, I've never been a victim of bad physical punishment because I can't even remember a time where my parents really punished me, but my, some of my family has too. But first let's see what science says about being punished. Well, first off, being spanked as a kid, according to science, can lead to alcohol abuse, drug abuse, disorders, mental disorders, anxiety, criminal delinquency, stuff like that. So it's a huge list of the bad effects of what can happen through physical punishment. Even something as light as spanking, they really don't recommend it. For example, my mom would walk into the kitchen and ask for help on math homework, and she'd end up getting hit by a spoon and chased out of the kitchen. <laughs> or my uncle would show up a few minutes late after playing with his friends, and my grandma would throw pots at him and hit him with a bamboo stick. <laughs> it was a little over the top, but nowadays all they do is laugh about those violent episodes, or they express kind of a bittersweet memory of her when they talk about her. So, did studies predict what would happen to them? Well, my mom isn't really a criminal or delinquent, and she's not that violent either. She's never laid a hand on me or my baby sister ever, no matter how mad she got. I mean, she'd yell at us a bit, but never physically hurt us in any way. My uncle, however, he is a bit more violent, but he was a short kid and he grew up around gangs, so you don't have much choice but to be violent once in a while. The drug abuse part though, that did strike. Not because of physical punishment though, it was because our grandma had passed away from leukemia. Rather than them being traumatized by physical violence, they were traumatized by my grandmother passing away. My uncle had started to dab into drugs and my grandfather had become an alcoholic because she had passed away. So rather than be a factor that punished them and scarred them for life, she was the one that kept them in check and kept them all together.